I wouldn't mind being the world champ. I'll do whatever it takes to get there. If I don't get there, I hope somebody else from Hawaii does. I want to win a world title before I retire, and um, you know I'm getting old. Stands up, pulls in, in the barrel, Sonny Garcia. Well, what an exciting ball game to think that Sonny Garcia has won the Triple Crown five times. Well, that's it, and he just unleashing some serious backhand dodges there, coming back into the white water, manhandling his way to see him late behind. And there's your new 2000 world champion, Sonny Garcia. From an early young age, you, you would ask him what he wanted to be when he grew up, and he would tell you he wants to be the best surfer in the world. We were Sonny's first sponsor when he was very young and emerging. I watched him on the South Shore, surfing at Sandy Beach. Sonny was always the name that came up, so we sponsored him. When you speak of Sonny Garcia and, and the type of people that he was following in the footsteps from, you know, you think of the Barry Kanai and the Punis, uh, the Dan Kealohas, you know, even the Johnny Boy Gomes, you know, the Reno Abaleras. You know, Sonny's in that group of incredibly talented people. My first impression was Sonny, you know, little, little kid, skinny, broken nose on his face and a broken nose on his board. Having to deal with Vincent Sonny Garcia, I sometimes always wonder how he got the name Sonny because he sure didn't have a sunny disposition most of the times I had to deal with him. From the time I was nine I surfed my first event I already had a clear goal you know my, my goal was to be a professional surfer to be the world champ. Sonny when he first appeared on the scene was I didn't remember him having this long industrious um, amateur career I just remember him appearing as a 16 year old pro from Waianae just coming out of nowhere he didn't even finish high school he just went right on tour 16 years old and with a vengeance. Sonny was, uh, was reminiscent of a young Muhammad Ali when Cassius Clay was 16 years of age, Sonny, he was so similar. I mean, he had the ability to back it up. He talked the talk. He was, you know, a good-looking young guy. He, he had a lot of spunk about him. He was fearless. He was brash, and he really had attitude. Well, the Triple Crown really emanated out of the fact that in previous times, Hawaii was where you came to really prove yourself. Randy Rarick and Fred Hemmings set that up to sort of be a showcase for what was needed to earn what would be considered to be the best surfer in the world. Sonny came out of the gate slam and Haleiwa. I mean, the quarters over there. If you could surf pipeline great, if you could surf Haleiwa great, and if you could surf sunset great, and you could be the dominant surfer in those three areas, then you kind of were crowned as the best surfer that year. Sonny Garcia came on the scene and not only had the power and the style, but he had the competitive drive to take that to a whole new level. And no one has ever won more triple crowns than Sonny Garcia. He is the most dominant triple crown surfer in the history of surfing. Sonny is a six time triple crown champion. Great story to have him going for his seventh title. I would like nothing better to see Sonny uh, potentially win that title. Sonny Garcia, one of the greatest all time power surfers uh, who ever evolved here on the North Shore. During this last competition, uh, the Triple Crown, Sonny was at a level that you can't surf any better. He surfed as good as it can be surfed. I looked like he was going to win Sunset. I mean, you know, he was there vying. I mean, it was, was Parker, Mick Fanning, and, and Sonny just, he was right there with him. You know, these are the two hottest surfers in the world right now. He was right there with them. I mean, there was not a struck match between those guys. When I heard Sonny got a 957, I was like, oh, oh, it's done. <laughs> I just tried to stay away from him. First wave of Sonny at Sunset was by far and away the best wave of that final. Sonny was surfing critically in the lineup. Sunset, I think he, you know, hands down surfed Sunset better than anyone. And um, he's one of the only surfers, I think, that can match his power to the power of the wave. And uh, that, you know, that way it's really powerful. It's hard to, to control and uh, you know, he's one of the few servers I think he, you know, he, he matches it well and um, he almost won that one. I heard the story, he got like a 9.5 and then a 2 or something. If he could get a 3 at sunset, it'd be a different story right now. Yeah. What happened, man? I didn't see it. I paddled. I looked. I couldn't find one. Joel Parkinson won it on the basis of the rules. But as far as riding sunset is concerned, from my perspective, Sonny was the, the standout. And he goes into the barrel. Can he make it out? He's pumping through it, and he comes out. Can you believe it? Unbelievable.